nicest thing in the world, but it'll have to work. So that's what we got. So I'll probably sell the series two just because, you know, doesn't there's really no one. I think it's uh Rod Carew was the only one that's any good, but there's pot potential. I think Gaylord Perry. Um who else was in there? Oh, Willie McCovey. 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 I never say that right. Um but we're looking for the all time greats, so this is very exciting. And I purchased these all from an old guy. He would never swindle me. But you know, a good an easy way to tell will be if you start opening them up and they got numbers from different series in it, you'll know for a fact you got swindled. Yeah. Which is fine. Which is fine. <clears throat> Oh man, this refers on there pretty good. Do, 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 do. Well, the back card's the same series as the front card. There is your gum. From 1973. 1970. It actually looks pretty good. As you can see here on the video, actually, it's pretty, it's pretty fresh. You know, some of that gum gets really gnarly. All right. Yeah, off the top, we got this little Sonny Jackson here. He's not uh, anything special. Roland Thomas Jackson. Nope, me neither. But he, uh, he's on the top. So his card's a little, got a little issue there. Nothing special there off the top. But we'll put him in anyway. We don't want him to feel bad. It's like the worst Jackson to get in the set too, because there was like Reggie Jackson. Schmidt's in the next one. Mike Schmidt's in series six. Tom Haller. Tom Haller. I'd have to think that these are pretty legit considering. I mean, that's good centering. That's pretty good corners. No issues with the surface. Not right now, Deegan. Maybe a little dent on one line. Good looking card though. What number was he? Yeah, yeah this is legit. These, these are all series four, unless somebody opened a pack and just put it back because they didn't get anybody any good. Could have happened. Seemed pretty sealed though. All right, Jack Hiat. Another meh. No one, no one fun so far. And this is a fun one though, because you can see, if you can see there, the the the, the slicer was uh, dull, and tops didn't take the time to really worry too much in 1973 if they were chopping at a fast rate or at a at a sharp rate that's why high grade older cards are so interesting <clears throat> there's a million reasons they would be no good dan frisilla another uh person i've never heard of before dan daniel vincent frisilla I have to say though, the this one the centering was a little off. The next one, I mean, the centering looks good. If we did get a good card, it would be worth sending in. Casey Cox, the Yankee. Yankee, good centering though. The back has some up and down.
Pictures are funny. Some serious mullet action. Is it uh the first of the month a new are they doing a new quarterly up thing at the first of the month or is that next month? That's next month, I believe. Uh, that's unfortunate. Now I've heard of this guy before. Tommy Helms. Forget where. I feel like he was some kind of a coach. He played oh he played for the Reds. Hmm. Well, this next guy I've heard of, he had, he's been around for a long, he would play a lot of years. Norm Cash. Yeah, Norm Cash. Norm, Storm and Norman Cash. Storm and Norman. Bob Veal. Still nothing exciting. I said that you have to watch it. I want to check the pop on all these to see if any of these that look decent had low, low pulp. Ah. Bart Johnson. Bart Johnson. They were not very exciting cards either. Boy, they really toned it down after 71 was the black, 72 was like 70s fever. 73, they went kind of lame. I'm not going to lie. Not a very exciting set. Not a very exciting pack. Dumb card was the Phillies field leaders. Phillies coaches, no one of note. Terribly unexciting. Well... There you go. An exciting 73. We could look at the, uh, might as well. I'm gonna probably put the 72 back online. I do have the 79. So the 79 is kind of fun because it's got 15 cards and I think it's all one series. So you've pretty much got your chance at the uh, the Aussie, or no, it's 80, 80. So it's the Ricky Henderson, the Henderson rookie card from the 80s. So we can, and that's got, I wasn't going to sell it because it's got, it's uh, folded up. No reason to, while well, we got this flow going, get this opened up. I might have to go get me a beverage though. Whilst we go through gum looks good too. It's two good packs of gum. I think the wrapper sells too. I might sell the wrapper with the gum with it. I tell you, I bet I bet you get a couple bucks for it for sure. Oh, man, it was a long week for being a short week. I was off all week, so. Ooh, what'd you do? Huh? I like that's the greatest thing to ever do. Bob Lacey, my uh, 
My desert shields are all right around 70. It'd be nice to get rid of those. There's the three of them. Oh, these look nice. Roy Thomas. Roy, never heard of you, Thomas. Craig Chamberlain. Craig Chamberlain. There's a name I've heard of. Steve Garvey. I know Steve Garvey, but he's off center. A little off center there, Steve. Not the guy I'm you we are you are not. The star. Is he, he's not a Hall of Famer, I don't think. Maybe he is. What do I know? Vaughn Joshua. Vaughn Joshua. Manny Mota sets all-time pinch mark with 145th substitute hit. Now you should have a Ricky Henderson, Ricky Henderson in here because you gave me a card about the flipping all-time pinch hit mark. Might as well be a minor leaguer. He's probably got like a two pop ten. This one, this card's really nice looking though. Card number three. Good looking card. Ah. Oakland A's, but not, dang, Cecil Cooper, Cecil Cooper, not the Oakland A you were looking for, Larry Murray, Bill Stein, <laughs> Bill Stein, what, Deegan? Yeah, you probably did. You guys circle back and look at your stuff. One of the worst cut cards I've ever seen. His name's Bobby Valentine. It's Bobby Valentine, but it's actually got Odell Jones cut. Somebody's got the other eighth of my card. I should probably find that. Byron McLaughlin, anything special. John Ellis, also not special. I think I knew somebody named Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers, not special. Scott Thompson, not special. And last but not least, Dave Skaggs, not, not special. Let's see here, any of these look particularly well? Thomas, Vaughn Joshua, Cecil Cooper, Larry Murray, Bill Stein, Byron McLaughlin, John Ellis, Steve Rogers, Scott Thompson, Dave Skaggs. Man, nothing pretty on those. Steve Garvey. Interesting.
Well, that's it, my man. Nothing overly exciting.